What's up, Peep Squad? Peep Squad is in the building, baby. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'll be greatly appreciated. Let's get down to the situation. Let's talk about Real Housewives Girls Trip Season 1, Episode 6. Let's get into it, baby. Let's get down to the situation. Let's talk about Melissa. Melissa's been throwing shade towards Kenya. And her shade that she's been throwing towards Kenya is that, oh, when I drink red wine, I turn into a Kenya. Basically saying Kenya's off the chain in order for her to behave like Kenya, she got to get drunk. So basically, she's saying Kenya's out of her mind. Like, girl, come on. And then also... Melissa, you stay kissing Kenya's butt. You stay riding under her butt. Then at the same time, you try to make her feel guilty about Ramona. And you don't even you don't even think that Ramona really did anything wrong. You're just like, I just feel so sorry for her. Sorry for Ramona. And that's why Ramona gets away with doing what she does because of people like you and Mrs. Kyle. Kyle over here, she's playing both sides. You know, she knows that Cynthia and um, Kenya are not getting along. So basically, she tends to run towards Kenya for fun. And then she runs towards Cynthia to complain about a behavior that she doesn't like with Kenya but not really saying it and basically saying it to Cynthia won't you go say it to Kenya more why are you scared to speak up to Kenya more why can't you tell Kenya more how you feel and Melissa why can't you tell Kenya more oh I feel so sorry for Ramona you're doing too much but basically Melissa did say a little bit if that was me if you know Luann went over there and was on oh, my man that I like I would lose my earrings baby but in any event Kenya ain't paying y'all no mind because she's running the show and that's just the situation that's just what we see and that's just what it is but in any event let's get into it let's talk about Cynthia Bailey Cynthia Bailey I'm gonna need you to stand up girl I'm gonna need you to get strong I'm gonna need you to get you know loose too as well you ain't having fun you worried about Kenya being happy with this one and that one what about your happiness what about you being happy what about you being free what about you drinking and having fun too as well and letting go that's one thing that you need to do and whether Kenya Moore is your friend or she's acting like your friend or not, it should not determine how your trip should be. But in any event, Cynthia Bailey really just finds out that, you know, Kenya Moore tells Melissa and Kyle that, you know, she's jealous of them. So now this gives, you know, a little bit of situation where Cynthia is feeling a certain type of way because now you know Kyle knows information on Cynthia and her weakness and what do they do on Real Housewives they find your weakness and they use it against you little by little play with it and all these different types of stuff and just play games with you and act like oh I'm here for you but I'm really not and then Melissa saying that she's staying away from Cynthia Bailey because of what Kenya said so in any event I believe that Cynthia Bailey needs to go over there and address Kenya and I don't think Kenya was right with telling these ladies that Cynthia is jealous of them because you know Kenya Moore is building a friendship with them and that's not a good situation because these ladies are used it to their benefit to come at Cynthia and then also it caused a little bit of a discord between the ladies in any event when it comes to Cynthia and when it comes to Melissa and when it comes to, you know, Kyle, it creates a discord where they're kind of like, oh my God, why is she jealous? She's too old to be jealous. Like, this is crazy. It don't make no sense. But maybe Kenya Moore was feeling like comfortable with the situation and just telling the ladies how she feels about Cynthia, which, you know, she probably shouldn't have. In my opinion, I wouldn't have did that. But in any event, you know, Cynthia Bailey did talk to Luann about Kenya Moore basically but what Cynthia said about Kenya Moore it wasn't something that they can use against Kenya Moore or taunt her with it basically Cynthia you know tells Luann that she just feels like Kenya Moore should have had her back and she was there for Kenya Moore and she really wanted to be closer to Kenya Moore on this trip and she tried to you know give make sure Kenya Moore gets the best room and let everybody know you know Kenya Moore left her daughter at home and things of that nature so Cynthia was basically she was just you know saying how she feels but she wasn't give anybody any any information to use against Kenya so in any event Cynthia sitting out here trying to catch herself trying to find herself she don't know why everything went so wrong girl you need to take a chill pill you need to smoke that good trees on that island and relax baby because you're doing too much and Kenya more really she's just chilling because all the girls are eating up her schoolyard you know snacks so in any event you know now they're talking about Ramona at the table and Kenya more could care less about Ramona you know it, it is what it is she ain't gonna let 
let that woman walk over her. She ain't gonna let that woman disrespect her. And basically, Kenya Moore checks Luann. How can you say that Ramona is a good person? How can you say that she's a good friend and things of that nature when she has not exhibited any of that behavior? So what does that say about you? So Kenya Moore is checking Luann. Kenya Moore is basically moving outside of the comfort zone of Atlanta. And basically, she's here. She's thriving in this situation. You know, it is what it is. And so she's checking her and Teresa is a real one. Teresa feels Kenya Moore. Teresa understands what Kenya Moore is saying. And Teresa has not thrown no shots at Kenya Moore at all. But I don't know what's going to happen later on. But in any event, Teresa has been cool. She's been on her best behavior. I'm like, damn, Teresa, I would like to hang out with you. You seem real cool and chill. You don't take no nonsense and you don't do stuff to people to hurt them, especially on this show. Now we get Ramona. She's feeling a certain type of way. And, you know, she wants it's easy to apologize to Cynthia. It's easy to you know stump on Cynthia and keep moving because Cynthia allows it she gets into this great deep depression and you know blaming herself and being insecure with herself and that's like damn girl we need you to get back to 50 cent Cynthia we need you to be that Cynthia that Nini Leak said that you be okay so in any event Ramona apologized and Cynthia was like I believe you're a really good person Cynthia how can you believe that she's a really good person like you've seen how she acts you've seen what she did you know that she's not sorry Ramona says sorry to antibody at any time of the day she don't have a problem with apologizing saying sorry but she never she never means it and she also said in her confessional she's not sorry she said she don't know why she apologizing but Cynthia you did call her out because the reason why the woman stayed in you know Ramona's dressing room or her bedroom and not do Cynthia's makeup is because she believed that lady that with the makeup artist believed if she didn't if she didn't get the money from a Mo Ramona right then and there she wasn't going to get it she didn't trust her and you know Ramona would have reneged oh god at the end of this video I'm gonna tell you a story about Ramona so in any event Cynthia once again you know being a sucker for somebody you know if Kenya's going at her and you already have beef with her and she did this to you and then also it caused Kyle to jump in at you Kyle's not your friend but yeah she want to come to you and tell you about her concerns with Kenya Moore treating Ramona you know what I mean you should walk away and be like nah 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 because she's only coming to you because she knows that there's a rip routine between you two and you jealous of her why would you tell this woman that you jealous of her friendship with Kenya Moore what kind of crap is that like Cynthia I need you to get some help girl because I do like you and you do got it going on but you can't be this weak baby because if that's the case your husband is walking all up on you but in any event we have melissa whoa i feel so sorry for ramona oh my god but it gives her no excuse but yes she's letting you know so nobody will come after her that i feel so sorry for ramona she's so lonely she don't have nobody to go home to blase in the third because kenya moore is not letting ramona walk all over her and kenya moore don't care what other people think or what other fans are going to say melissa be trying to play both sides she be trying to play the innocent girl the nice girl but at the same time throwing shade and don't like it but yet she wants she don't want to seem like she's on anybody's side she want she don't want to seem like she's a bully she don't want to call out anybody because she wants to be this perfect perfect miss goody two shoes and she ain't we can see right through you girl only reason why you kissing up kenya butt is because kiss kenya's letting you kiss up her butt okay all right so in any event we have you know when it comes to Risha, she feels sorry for her too but she thinks that anything that happens to ramona she deserved it and she don't really feel sorry for her like that but in any event we got luann talking about oh my god thank you so much kenya you're giving me a backbone oh i'm i'm starting to see like girl how old are you that you don't see that ramona's not your friend you know ramona basically Basically talking about you is a freak out here in these streets. You cheap, you dumb, you stupid, and you, you know, an easy lay and all types of stuff. And you don't got no sense. And basically, she went and got evidence and bitten all up in your business. And then she accused your ex husband of trying to flirt with her. And you think it's all good and you want to grow old with her? Like, Lord have mercy. So now, like I said, Kenya's one of the girls. Okay? Giving her a backbone, baby. <laughs> And so, in any event, we get to this situation where we get to, you know, um, Cynthia Bailey. So, Cynthia Bailey's in the car. And then, you know, Cynthia Bailey's not getting along with Kyle because Kyle don't like Cynthia Bailey. She didn't like her from the jump street because Cynthia Bailey is a better breed than her. Cynthia Bailey didn't have to go through all this stuff and do all this stuff. And she don't really have these issues that Kyle has mentally. Kyle is mentally a wreck. She's mentally, and she's a pure, utter drunk. You know what I mean? <laughs> she's a
she's up here drunk. She pissing her pants. And you got, you know, on um, what's her name? Ramona pissing her pants too as well. You know, sometimes just because a person got money, they might, you may think that they think that they're better than you. But no, the way that you live and the way you carry yourself and your morality and how loyal you, loyal you are and just what you didn't have to do to get to where you are at today. And they had to do everything. And also you fought for it. Some of the things were handed to them, you know, privilege. And so therefore you might be in her company thinking that you're inferior, but she feels inferior. I got a husband and I got money, but deep inside the woman don't even like to look at herself. You can you can't tell me that marriage ain't go, going through up and down. But in any event, well, when it comes to Cynthia Bailey, Cynthia Bailey, basically she admits to Kyle that, you know, that she was a little bit, you know, jealous of the relationship. I was like, why would you mention that to Kyle? Like, oh my God, in front of all these ladies, you know, these ladies are sharks and wolves and things of that nature. And they all need a storyline or something that's interesting going on to make them have a moment. So Bravo can call them back again for another project. Maybe not Kyle, but the rest of them. So in any event, um, with that situation, you know, Cynthia admits that she was jealous and, you know, I was just like, okay. <laughs> I was like, um, you know, and basically, you know, Cynthia said that she was jealous of Kyle because of her relationship, you know, with Cynthia, with Kenya Moore. And it was like, and, and then Kenya Moore, you know, really not paying her any attention. And Cynthia said that, you know, she never really had to fight for Kenya Moore's attention like she has to fight now because on this show, you know, she has few far in between friends i was like oh that was shade baby so cynthia's feeling insecure too as well that you know she's not liked by everybody so now she sees how kenya moore is feeling that should give her the if she's really her friend even more the latitude okay have fun let me not be jealous because this is your time to shine too and i'm gonna shine doing this i'm gonna shine doing that i'm gonna shine with you i'm gonna shine with going after ramona at the same time because kenya's in a place where every at least every, nobody Nobody really hates around the cast other than you know Ramona but on housewives is a lot of different it's been a lot of different a different story so in any event so with that situation going on I was like Lord have mercy Cynthia why you tell that woman that and Kyle was just smiling like oh girl I'm just the, I'm just the bomb diggity I was like I don't know why you told her that but I can say one thing about Kyle she didn't say anything about Kenya Moore, you know, saying to her that, oh, no, listen, I already know that situation. I already know that because um, Kenya already told us. So, you know, it seems like Kyle can somewhat keep a secret and she didn't go for the juggler by throwing that in her face. Well, I already knew that, you know, but Melissa basically was like, well, and Melissa felt left out because she thought that, you know, Cynthia is jealous of her too. And Cynthia did say, oh my God, to Cynthia, Cynthia said to Kenya Moore, oh my God, like you want me to take a picture of you and it was on a yacht? I thought you want Melissa to do it. That show knew something, something. And so in any event, that that type of moment says that you were jealous of Melissa, um, Cynthia. But Cynthia shades Melissa and say, hey, listen, I wasn't even thinking about you. You wasn't even a factor when it came to the jealousy. You know, it had nothing to do with that. I haven't spent no time with you. I don't even know how you is, what you is, what's good with you, Blase the third. But also Cynthia is more closer to Teresa than Melissa so it is what it is but in any event Cynthia said that's not the case at all honey and your and and, and <laughs> in your situation that's not the case baby and Kyle sitting there laughing and Ramona was like oh my god why is Cynthia doing it she is so weak <laughs> But Ramona says stuff like this. Like Ramona says, oh, listen, I want to be just like Luann. Luann, I want to be just like you. I want to be open. I want to have, I want to be open and, and be fierce and be open to do this and do that. So Cynthia is basically saying, I'm jealous, Kyle. So uh, Ramona knows this speech because she says it so well and she's always apologizing. So I was just like, Lord have mercy. So Melissa said that she's going to try to spend some more time with Cynthia. But Melissa says that since Kenya Moore told her, that, you know, um, Cynthia was kind of jealous of, you know, her building a relationship with Kenya that she kind of backed away. So now this is giving maybe Cynthia some insight of why everything is not going so well with the ladies, because you have two of the ladies, which is Melissa and which is Kyle basically were told that you were jealous of them building a friendship with Kenya Moore. And so now this is probably the backlash of people trying to stay away from you. So did Kenya Moore do that on purpose? Or she was just freely speaking her mind. Thinking that she.
she can trust strangers. You guys tell me what you think about that situation. But in any event, Melissa says that conversation with Kenya made her back away from you, Cynthia. So now you understand why they're backing away from you is because your best friend told them that you was jealous. Uh-huh. And so you need to go confront Kenya about that. Like, yo, why would you say that? How come you didn't come to me? How come you didn't say to me? You know, she could say, Kenya, how come you didn't say to me? You know, oh, Cynthia, I can understand. It seems like you're feeling a little jealous. Tell Kenya, tell Cynthia that so Cynthia can work better on that and, and understand her issue than telling the people that she's jealous of. So in any event, Cynthia, you need to sit down and have that conversation with Kenya for real, for real, because this is why you're feeling so awkward and you're feeling like you can't have a grasp and catch on. That's one of the reasons, but also your jealousy and your insecurities as well. So there's a whole lot going on with Miss Cynthia Bailey. There's probably a lot going on at home in that marriage with you know her husband so in any event you guys let me know what you think about that situation was kenya more wrong in telling kyle and you know melissa that cynthia is jealous and now should cynthia confront kenya more or do you think the ladies are acting different towards cynthia because of what kenya more said to them and is it is kenya more trying to get the girls not to pay Cynthia, no attention. Okay, you guys tell me what you think about that situation. Please respond down low in the <laughs> comment section. Thank you, guys. Um, and so, in any event, I was just like, damn. Mm -mm -mm. And so, right now, Cynthia Bailey is feeling like, you know, that Kenya Moore, like, why would Kenya Moore, she says, why would Kenya Moore even do that? Why would Kenya Moore even say that? Why would she even tell these girls that? Like, and she's feeling like Kenya Moore doesn't have her back and she's not supporting her when she had the Bailey Q game, the Bailey Q game, and also not supporting her when Cynthia was trying to talk at the table about modeling and judges. Kenya Moore wouldn't let her speak. And then Kenya Moore being like so disgusted that Cynthia Bailey came into her room with the cameras and, and, Kenya was crying about, you know, the situation going on with Mark being just, a, you know, an A. And also, did you guys hear when Kenya Moore was in the car? She said that she was looking for a new house. So is Kenya Moore selling her Georgia mansion? Does she has, does she have to split her Georgia mansion and a divorce with Mark Daly? Because she said she's looking for a new house, and she really loved the house that she's in. So why is she looking for a new house? Okay, unless she's making enough money where she wants two houses. I believe she has enough money to have two houses, but that's just too much on a single mother. So you guys let me know what you think about that too. So in any event, getting back to the situation, I was like, Lord, Lord have mercy. <laughs> like, oh my goodness, Kenya Moore, you just, Kenya Moore is cool. But Cynthia, you just got to deal with the situation up front, for real, for real. And so, you know. And you have to address Kenya and not believe that these two ladies are your friends because they're both playing devil advocate, devil's advocate. And then on top of that, you know, they don't really got your back. In any event, they don't care about you at all. So in, so in any event, these ladies that are out for their, you know, having a good time, Kenya Moore and Luann bumps um, Ramona as she is on the, on the board basically and she goes down on her knees she's laughing but they got her and you know Kyle thinks that's wrong Melissa thinks that's wrong Cynthia thinks that wrong is wrong but no it's not wrong she ain't hurt she already accused Kenya of trying to kill her and the go-karts at least this is something even more intimate like she's making all these accusations about Cynthia I mean about Kenya Moore trying to hurt her and the go-karts but in this situation you know at least this is close to what you was trying to say but in any event the, the lady sit down and then Kenya Moore is singing you know Melissa's praises saying Melissa she's so beautiful she's the beautiful girl I ever seen and she's the queen like why are you singing that and you know Kyle feels a certain type of way because she got she got all, all types of issues you know I'm surprised she didn't say Kenya won't you stop saying that because you're making all the other ladies at the table feel uncomfortable we're all beauty and we all have our own type of beauty so Kyle you ain't running nothing you act like you running stuff behind the scenes but baby girl you are not running into thing baby because if you were you would have stopped it because you had an issue with other women praising other women for beauty or pointing out their beauty in front of other people because you got an issue with beauty 
pretty. But in any event, Kenya Moore looks like she's ignoring Cynthia. And Cynthia looks like, you know, like she's having, like, you know, she she can't really hang melissa knows how cynthia feels and melissa is dancing and, and basically it's like teasing melissa knows that she's teasing cynthia and i don't know if kenya moore is actually just having fun because she really never has fun like this or is she teasing cynthia too so you know cynthia start swinging girl start swinging and we have this, you know, bull crap conversation. Ramona apologizing. Sorry, sorry. This and that. Blessing and all this other stuff. Luann eating it up. She usually, you know, will buy everything Ramona's saying. But since Kenya Moore is on the other side of her shoulder, she ain't. Okay. <laughs> and so in any event, when it comes to Ramona having her little it, it, get together for the ladies, you know, have an event. They all each have events. And so... This jury, nobody else put on the jury but Luann and Cynthia. And basically that tells you that Luann and Cynthia are the weakest links, you know, sometimes because they fall for Ramona's tricks. When Ramona was stabbed in both in the front, backside, and upside down. And in any event, when it comes to Teresa, Teresa says, Ramona deserves everything that she gets. You can't keep poking a wolf or poking a bear and think that they ain't going to poke back. So she don't feel sorry. And in any event, Ramona, you know, she has her event. And she thinks that her event is going to go off so well that no one's going to misbehave. No one's going to act up because they're going to want Ramona to be in her best behavior. But every time when Cynthia has... Had her event when Kenya Moore had her event she she act up she act up at you know Teresa's event when she had her little you know event for the ladies to do while they're on this trip and so she thought that she was gonna ski or skate easy and no that's not the case that's not the situation bye bye they came for you Kenya Moore and Luann came for you. And basically, I was just like, Lord have mercy. This is why Kenya is who Kenya is. Because Kenya don't play no games. So Kenya basically sitting at the table. She asked John what he likes. What type of women he likes. And things of that nature. And basically, Ramona thinking that Kenya Moore is doing it for her. Nope, she is doing it for Luann. And then... John says he likes intelligent women and then Kenya Moore said well Luann is, intel Luann is intelligent and things of that nature and so I'm just like Lord have mercy what is going on and then Luann jumps in and said I don't know whether he likes br blondes or brunettes like that's the question and now you know they're flirting with John and Ramona don't know what to do Ramona is feeling a certain type of way and you know I'm just like, oh, Lord, have mercy. Then Kenya Moore tells John what went on on a yacht that, you know, Ramona is blackmailing um, Lou Ann. And she called, she said, F me and F this and F that. And she was crying and she had no tears in her eyes. She was running around the yacht like crazy. John is looking like I knew something was wrong with her. And John looks uncomfortable as well. But in any event, it's time for Ramona people to you know face the heat because Ramona's been acting up destroying each and everybody's event by being herself and being rude and disrespectful and doing it for her fans because she says she's doing everything for her Instagram fans they tell her what to do so in any event with this situation going down now her people have to feel the wrath of Kenya Moore and you know Lou Ann because Ramona was very disrespectful to everybody so you are judged by the company you keep since you guys are company with, with Ramona and she was misbehaving and being disrespectful and rude and destroying people events now you are part of hosting an event with Ramona so now you're getting some of the heat and the uncomfortableness that Ramona was doing to everybody else I was like Lord have mercy and you know Kyle feels sorry she wants to cry for Luann and she wants to cry for Ramona like she's she was holding Ramona in a fetal position on a yacht like Kyle you need a life like you crazy like you got problems but in any event John is looking like, oh my God, I can't believe this. And Kenya Moore is telling John that Ramona said F her. Ramona was like, well, let's have a toast to Kenya Moore. You know, you're wonderful. You're this and that. I love you. So Ramona's trying to calm down Kenya Moore and try to make Kenya Moore look bad. Kenya Moore flipped that and said, I don't think you do, baby, because you wouldn't tell me to go F myself. You wouldn't have did this and you wouldn't have did that. So that's truly not true, baby. And then, and then Ramona's like, well, we're trying to have a good time. And then... And, 
you know, Kenya was like, well, we, John, you having a good time? He's like, yeah, I just want everybody to feel comfortable and things of that nature. And, um, it is what it is. <laughs> they took over that situation. Then Luann started flirting with John. I was just like, Lord have mercy. She went over there to go sit across from him. I was like, oh my goodness, what is going on in this situation? And then John says, you know, he's Canadian. Luann, I guess she's some Canadian. Kenya Moore said two Canadians make a good match. And so Luann is getting back at Ramona. You know, Ramona's never going to forget this. Luann is doing, you know, Luann like anybody, man. She flirts with anybody, man. She's flirting with the butler over there where they staying at. She's, she's flirting with him and he's married. But in any event, it feels good for her to get back at Ramona. And plus, on top of that, she's getting paid to do it. And it's good camera time because... Basically, she would be like running around chasing Ramona and feeling sorry for Ramona when she shouldn't be because she's not even she don't care about you at all. So in any event, Ramona is upset. She's about to go to the bathroom. And we have Melissa talking about, you know, if that was me. If Luann did that, I would take off my hoop earrings. And so Kenya Moore was like, okay, yeah, all right, whatever. Like, ugh, Kenya Moore's looking at her like, no, we're, we're playing. We're getting her back for what she did. And Melissa is liking it, but she's trying to act like she's against it because she didn't want to be considered like someone not liking Ramona or ganging up on Ramona. When Ramona was just opening the door to gang up on everybody. She just didn't come after you, Melissa, yet. But in any event, you know, Kyle was like, oh my God, I can't believe Kyle was making all these faces because she's an actor maybe the botox is hurting her and she's making all these faces like this is just so awful oh my god i can't believe i'm part of this girl you were drunk and do what else like lord have mercy for you to be in hollywood this long you had you had a lot of skeletons in your clothes and you did a lot of dirt now you're trying to act like miss innocent like you found yourself you found yourself in a bottle okay and now ramona is so mad she can't find the bathroom she's lost luann is over there flirting now here comes kyle now she's slick talking slick talking negative about kenya moore like i don't like what's going on you know you know she's clearly attracted to john and this is happening maybe kenya has some unresolved issues and she needs to talk to her about it won't you go tell kenya that you already know cynthia's not in a good place with kenya or are you trying to get cynthia on your side because you want to attack kenya moore more or you're trying to make Kenya look bad and trying to make like you are the peacemaker in the situation so you're going to use Cynthia when Cynthia's not getting along with her and when you already said that you're in a good place with Kenya so once you go over there and tell her to Kenya's face but no you want to do everything sneaking behind the scenes but you don't run your mouth too much I get that so far but you said if anything happens you will bring it up on a show regardless we're gonna talk about it so therefore don't tell kyle ish but in any event so now she now she's she's trying to she's ganging a, a crew together to defend or feel sorry for ramona and ramona does not deserve it at all like you know and so we got Kenya Moore. She's sitting next to John and also Luann. I was like, Lord have mercy. Kenya Moore is dancing with, you know, John. <laughs> and then we got the situation where Cynthia basically is feeling sorry for Ramona when Ramona was rude towards her. And she's seen how Ramona was acting and all and all and how she was treating her so-called friend. And then Ramona cussing you out and treating you bad. And then you're going to still side with this one that you don't even know. And then think that she's a good person. She has not so showed you anything of a good person baby if any event if kenya ain't gonna be your friend okay but she shouldn't be your friend and you shouldn't be fighting for ramona at all because she did you dirty it's not like she's innocent if you try to get at kenya for this this makes you look weak so fall back girl so in any event so we have that situation and you know ramona was like this is not the time this is not the place this is not appropriate this is not pop this is not proper girl you haven't been appropriate you haven't been proper you haven't shown no elegance you haven't shown no class you haven't shown no nothing since you've been on this show and any event you know luckily that people like to coddle you but in any event everybody needs to move away from you so you can really take a deep look into yourself the reason why Ramona never looks into herself because she always got somebody to give her out. Somebody always to comfort her. Somebody always to get her through whatever she's going through. Then she continues her behavior. But in any event, these three ladies are basically not too happy with Kenya and Luann's behavior. But they never, they haven't confronted Ramona about this is what you get because you dished out poison and now you're getting poisoned back. They're trying to coddle her like, oh my God. This shouldn't be happening to you and that is so wrong okay <laughs> so in any event 
Let's get down to the story about Ramona. So Ramona recently went to an opera, a play in California, and you're supposed to wear your mask, you know, once you're in there, and you take your mask off if you're drinking or not. And so you can't put your drink on the stage. Ramona had floor seats. You can't put your drink on stage when you're at the opera because, you know, the, the condensation, you know, the water and things of that nature. And they told, they told her not to put her glass on the stage. She kept putting her glass on the stage. She kept putting her feet on the stage. She kept taking off her mask when it wasn't appropriate to take off her mask. The ushers and the people that worked at the theater had to keep coming and standing next to Ramona to remind her to keep her glass, keep her drink off the stage, her foot off the stage, and keep her mask on when it's time to keep your mask on. And Ramona kept making the situation so bad. Like they had to keep coming and keep asking her to stop to stop it to stop it to stop it so Ramona was causing a scene with no cameras around at an opera event the way that Ramona acts on this show that and being disrespectful and caring about nobody else's feelings and thinking that she's entitled that's how Ramona was acting at the opera house in California making the staff have a difficult time a difficult day trying to stop a Karen from doing all the things that she's doing you know she's the type to go and complain on you and say she's just an innocent woman and she has season tickets to the opera you know she was making these people life like hell for the 45 or 2 hours that she was there it's just crazy peace